Hey guys, it's Steve with Breathing Adventures, and today I'm showing you the clip about the little scorpion that I found by my campfire and talking about him. So I was out in the Negev Desert in Israel, and I was having a fire, you know, uh, it, was, it was dark out, the fire was bright, shining bright, and uh, I noticed this little creature crawling up to the fire, and it, uh, it turns out to be a scorpion. I'm like, oh, cool, a scorpion, you know? Um, I was really excited because um, I've been trying to find or at least see a scorpion in this desert because, you know, I'm interested in um, different creatures, especially uh, little ones like um, like these. And um, and so I'm like, okay, cool. You know, I take a video of him, watch him run around for a little bit. You know, he goes off and does his own thing and didn't think much of it. You know, I go home the next day and whatnot. I find out that this particular scorpion is uh, the Death Stalker, or more commonly known in Israel, the Israeli Yellow Scorpion. And supposedly it's, uh, it's a very dangerous scorpion. Among the over a thousand scorpions that uh, we currently know of, it's supposedly the second most deadly scorpion. I'll probably mispronunciate this, but it has, I guess, seven toxins in its, in its venom. Chlorotoxin, caro Boy toxin, siloy toxin, and agatoxins, type 1, 2, and 3. Anyway, there's a lot of toxins in this guy's, in this guy's stinger. So you definitely don't want to get stung by this, um, especially if you're, you're elderly, if you're sick, or um, if you're, you're very young, because this, this venom is powerful enough to kill a human very very small doses um, it's more than likely not going to kill you if you're a healthy adult um, depending if you're allergic to it and you know where your immune system is at that at that point but um, still just not a good idea to get stung by them um, nonetheless they are they're not all bad I mean um, besides them being looking very interesting at least to me there's uh, many good uses for for this um, for this little guy's venom uh, there's been research done on using some of the toxins it has. I think it was the chlorotoxin in particular for for treating human brain tumors, and um, I think as a substitute for insulin for uh, for people who have diabetes, and I think a few other things. Anyway, you definitely want to watch out for these guys if you're camping, if you wake up in the morning and you're sleeping outside of the tent, or if you're in a tent. You want to be really careful when you're moving around because generally these things are, um, they'll, they'll try to seek warm places. I mean, they found me when I was by the campfire and they might go into your sleeping bag or into your tent um, because, you know, they're, they, they're uh, sensing the radiation off your body of that warmth and they just want somewhere warm to stay. Um, so anyway, that's, that's my take on my little adventure finding this death stalker. Um, stalking me by the campfire. If you guys enjoyed this video, please subscribe and like, and uh, stay tuned for more more awesome videos by Breven's Adventures. Take care. Peace.